there was a report that came out that he had overdosed on heroin. That is false. I just want to dispel that, that rumor right now. I met Josh Simon on season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter. He was on uh, John Jones's team. But that season was just a weird season. It was unlike any other season where there really wasn't, there really wasn't two sides. Everybody understood what was going on. Everybody understood, look, this is a tournament and only one guy is going to win this thing. There's going to be a finale and, and, and this whole bit. Everybody just kind of got that. John got it as the opposing coach. I got, there really was no uh, lines uh, drawn in the sand. The guys all hung out together, different practice times. That's where it ended. Everybody became friends. Including after taping, everybody became friends. Well, Josh was one of those guys, so I've known him for a number of years now. This guy doesn't take a nothing. Nothing does this guy take. Josh is a nice guy, handsome son of a bitch, great fighter. He's had a great career in the UFC. Of the night bonuses for knockouts. Before. I mean, this, this is a special guy. And when I read the report on Heron, look, he's owed this. He is in a he's in a fight right now. And let's all band together. Let's just all band together. The, the the power of thought is greatly underestimated. Now, we're going to be counting on science and, and, and medical. He's in a great hospital. Good things are going on. But I can just tell, I've known this guy for years. He doesn't, that, nothing. He doesn't take anything. And I don't, I don't, I don't want that rumor out there. Well, I just, let's just all dispel that right now. He is in a battle of some sort. But we will not let his good name, and he has a very good name, and he has earned that. He is a good person. We are not going to let his good name get associated with something that he he, he is not, not part of.